what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel so today we're doing something completely crazy we're out here at usa trails in mobile alabama and we have the infamous hyper carbon x bike that you can get from walmart it's uh about six hundred dollars full carbon frame one by setup no that is not a cassette that's a free hub we got brake rim channels brake uh, rim brake rims okay so they had to skimp somewhere we got these kind of pedals yeah uh, the one by setup is not narrow wide, so that's why the chain guide on there. But it is full carbon. Look at these handlebars. I think they're like 560 millimeters, something like that. Very, very narrow. Not up to today's standard. We got a measly little 60 millimeters of travel in there. Let's check out the fork flex on this thing. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that's a lot. But guess what? We're going to ride it. We're going to ride it out here at these trails. Uh, you know, it's nothing serious. Um, it's mostly flat, like cross country type. And, you know, that's really what I want to test it on. Not nothing crazy insane so as we as we go through um you know i'm gonna upgrade the bike calling this little series from sad to rad and we're gonna go little by little and upgrade everything on the bike literally everything and before i even get to riding this thing we're gonna have to do something about these pedals. I am not riding on these pedals. It's a good thing that I have some race face chesters. Not the same color, but you know, they'll do. Totally off color. And it's uh, already a major upgrade compared to what's on there so enough of yapping let's get to riding i'm gonna go ahead and change these pedals and we're gonna ride and hopefully we don't break the bike or break anything Alright, now that we got the pedals on, the brakes seem to be fine. Everything else seems to be good to go. I did a bolt check. Make sure our reflector is uh, straight and reflecting. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. We got 160 mil in the front, 160 mil in the back. We'll see how good that stops us. And Snafu branded tires. And we have a Snafu back here. Got the uh, cartridge style bottom bracket, the square taper. Uh, not anybody's favorite. It's okay, let's see how this thing does on the trail. All right. These handlebars are very, very narrow and I don't like them. But we're gonna try them anyway, see how it works. You know, at least it shifts. It does do that. It doesn't sound the best, but straight out of the box, it does shift. Ooh, got a lot of cracking and creaking. Not the best shifting, not the best 
not the best really any kind of drive training that they could bid on a $600 bike. Well, that didn't shift. All right, that shift. All right, we shifted that time. And you got to remember, this bike was $600. And the best that they could put on here is a free hub. Whoa, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. How y'all doing? Right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Have fun. The best that they could put on here is a 560 or 580 millimeter handlebar. Come on, Walmart. Well, I should say, come on, Hyper, but. You know, they're one and the same. I mean, it, it does okay, you know, but I don't know what that sound is, but we're gonna keep riding it. All right, everybody. So here we are at a little, a little jump area, um, dirt pit. I guess you could call it area and yeah we're gonna torture test this bike and see what it can handle see what it can handle this flappy chain flappy bird flappy chain you know how it goes so there's a there's a drop over here i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do maybe and then I've got a little hip jump right here and maybe a little double right there. So we're going to try it out. Wish me luck, guys. Yeah. All right, so we're going to walk this first. Show you what kind of elevation we got don't look like much but so I am level back there I am level to here top of my head it's about 10 foot I guess 12 come straight on in here so we're gonna we're gonna do it yeah yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna check it out all right, so we're gonna look, get a little speed up. Uh, whatever you wanna call speed. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was not fun. That was not fun. <laughs> that was not fun. All right. <laughs> yeah. That was not fun. So. Now let's not do that um, anymore. Technically, that really wasn't a wasn't a drop. That was more like a you know like a flop, I guess. And this seat, it'd be nice to have a dropper on this thing because uh, it can only go down so far, you know. I mean, it's kind of holding up pretty good carbon hasn't broken yet so that's that's saying something I guess but boy there's all kind of creeks and pops and pals and all kind of stuff coming from this thing now I don't really know where to go I can't really get no speed This is not fun, guys. <laughs> this is not fun. These itty bitty little handlebars. This is ridiculous. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna continue the ride a little bit and see if we can find any more creeks and pops. 
Oh boy, so now she's really, she's really mad at me. It's not shifting, it's go shifting. But still has not dropped a chain, which is amazing. You know, I know my luck will run out sooner or later. Man, I, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's just, it's just wild at the noise that are coming from this thing. But all in all, the carbon seems to be holding up fine. Yeah, she's uh, definitely singing to me. And, you know, I've been running over every root, every grain of sand, every rock that I possibly can to try to, you know, give this thing a good old torture. Here comes some right up. Good old torture test. And, uh, it's not letting me down so far. This thing is, is bad. You know, I'm, uh, 186 pounds and 5 foot 9. And if I'm putting this much strain and wear on a bike on cross country trails, oh man, I can just imagine somebody who's bigger than me would do, you know? It's crazy to think that a $600 bike this is what you get. So unless you're a, unless you're buying this just for the carbon, eh, it's kind of kind of hard to justify six hundred dollars for. A, well, you hear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So I gotta stop and take a break for a minute because this thing is just absolutely beating the crap out of me uh it's not a bad bike it's just really really expensive for the parts you don't get like the rim brake rims with the with the brake channel in it and then the free hub and then the loaded bottom bracket and then the, the cable brakes that don't work and then the 520 millimeter handlebar or 560 whatever it is 580 it's small like it's not even the length of my arm okay and it's 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 okay for what it is but um yeah it's it's not that great so we're headed back to the parking lot now and i'll give you my words of wisdom thoughts about it whenever we get back there so stay tuned yeah it's pretty sad right now creaking popping Sound like bearings are grinding. Brakes don't work. But it's always fun to get out and exercise, even if you are on a, a rolling death machine. It's always nice to get out ride your bike in the woods just enjoy nature for a little while if the bike wasn't so creaky and poppy and grindy and it was nice and you know quiet it'd be a good day I'm gonna hit this little jump coming up Right here. Woo! I almost slid out. 
some jumps for me. Well, guys, I spoke too soon. We did have a chain drop. And boy, is it dropped all right. It got really mangled. So now we're going to have to figure out. Ah, okay. That was easier said than done. Redundant said. All right, guys. So we're finally back here at the parking lot. Finally. After riding this bike on these trails and only putting in 5.3 miles with this Hyper Carbon X 29. It wasn't fun. It wasn't pleasant. It was a big mess. And you know, I was giving this bike a little bit of praise because, well, the, the chain never dropped. Well, that changed about five or six times and finally it dropped right over here at the end of the trail and I just said screw it and I just pushed it the rest of the way. So who is this bike for? <laughs> this bike is for nobody unless you just feel like paying $600 for the carbon frame to upgrade the carbon frame. Um, I would not recommend you buy this bike. Save your money and buy a good bike from a bike shop and not Walmart. Unless, like I said, unless you plan on upgrading the, the, the frame, the carbon frame, which it is carbon, 100%. The pros and cons of this bike, there aren't many. The only pro I can think of is it's a carbon frame. It's real carbon. And I hit every root, every rock, every limb, every stump, and even hit a few jumps, like you saw. And it looks like the carbon's gonna hold up fine. So this series that I'm gonna be doing is called Sad to Rad, which we're gonna take this bike and make it take it from sad to rad. So what I mean by that is new fork. New stem, new bars, dropper, actual crank set, uh, new wheels, new tires, new cassette, new hubs. We're gonna make it a real bike. So that's that's the whole point of me spending all that money and buying this bike is to make it from sad to rad and see what we can do with a Walmart bike, an actual Walmart bike. So hopefully it goes pretty well. But for the pros of this bike, like I said, carbon frame, maybe the tires, that's about it. Um, everything else is, is, is not, it, it's not there. And this bike is heavy. It weighs about 36 pounds. I weighed it a couple nights ago, weighed about 36 and a half pounds, which is super heavy. The entire fork is just steel and it's a it's a it's a got a spring inside of it and you can already see the the wear on the stanchion right there it's crazy it's not it's crap it's crap it's crap it's crap okay so make sure y'all hit that little uh that little bell icon so you get the notifications for me every time i upload a video um you know so you can watch it watch it maybe maybe not maybe you know race videos these bike videos whatever so that's all i got for today hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the trail thanks everybody